wind is at large. Out again. We found wind. We found wind. Oh, pardon me. Um, I've managed to put my new cover on that helps you to hear hear me in the wind upside down. So, yeah, it could be interesting. Oh yes, yeah, so you have. I have, yeah. It's the wrong way around. It's upside down or round the round the back way. Yeah, I don't right. know. It's wrong. I think the technical term is ask about face. Ask about face, okay. There you go. Now again, Castleman Loop. We're doing it in reverse this time. That means we'll be late enough to go down the uh, seafront at the end. We might actually get rained on, we'll see what happens. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Anyway, I can't sing. I've proved that several times. Mike's ahead. He's had a little burst of speed. I was into the wind. And I'm now in the trees catching up. Fancy seeing you here. My Wahoo's way is strange. I've got a Wahoo ticker that I wear. Heart rate monitor. Now, I've got a low resting heart rate. Or well, according to Fitbit I have. I'm down to about 50 beats per minute. Resting heart rate. Right now, I can talk. Ticker says I'm at 169. Now, in my mind, if my heart was doing 169, would I be able to talk? Now, if I look at my Fitbit, what will my Fitbit say? It says, 83. What's going on there then?
one more behind me. Cheers. So, tubeless sealant all up my leg, that was pleasant, but I'm hoping, I'm just going very slowly, <laughs> I'm hoping it's sealed. We're going to give it a chance, but uh, have lost quite a lot of air. We'll see, we'll see. Just going to go nice and slow for the next little bit and hopefully that's it. We'll see what happens. The stupid thing is, since going tubeless, I now carry more spares than ever just in case. <laughs> so the weight that I've saved going tubeless, I've totally lost by carrying all the spares. But anyway, there we go, such is life. So far so good, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Horse is up. <laughs> Thank you. It's no good, I can feel it going all up my leg. <laughs> and Judy can feel it going all over her as well. So, <laughs> yes, it is. It's blue. It's a blue colour. Anyway. Am I wearing it? Probably. You've got it all up your arm. I know, I've got it all over my arm. i got it all up my leg. Oh, the joys, eh? The joys. Never mind. Anyway, we got. tastes very nice. But it hasn't held. I'm hitting the rim. That looks like I'll be getting messy and putting a tube in. At the top of the hill anyway. <sighs> Nothing worse than stopping at the bottom of a hill. I've come to the conclusion that tubeless tyres are just sealant distribution systems. As you can see it's just absolutely everywhere and apparently it's all over me as well so and and Julie whenever she came near <laughs> yeah there it is right. look at that oh well I don't know that that will seal I'll give it a chance seeing as I've just put some sealant in there see if that sticks when there's Little or no pressure behind it. Well, it seems to have stopped. I might risk putting some air in. Give it a go. Yeah. Yuck. 
Well, a couple of attempts at putting air in, and now a bacon strip leak. Oh, there we go. So it's still leaking. <laughs> yeah. You see, I've wasted all this time. I should have just put a tube in it. it. Would have been much quicker just to put a patch on a tube as well. So, anyway, such is life. Let's see if we can get home now. Well, we're moving again. Not particularly fast, but we're moving. Uh, back tyre, it's only flat at the bottom, so we're doing all right. Uh, bit squidgy, but uh, yeah, I think uh, nice slow spin home. Might just get away with it. Might just get away with it. I do feel the rim every now and then if I hit a bump, but it uh, doesn't seem to be going down anymore. So oh, finger, fingers crossed. <laughs> well, it was comfortable the other day, but this is a bit too flat. <laughs> anyway, we're only a few miles from home, so it's no big deal. Making quite a funny noise. Let's just say it's running a little less than optimal. So it's going to make funny noises. We're nearly home. Oh, I'm looking forward to my tea. Softer tyres are not easier at all. This is hard work. Anyway, here comes Madam. He waited for me. He did a speedy along Laybourne Avenue. Because he's a speedy man. Hello, speedy. Only about a mile from home now, so I could crawl from here. Uh, so that's good news, I can relax. I've left him behind. I don't think you'll get those lights either. So anyway, we're home. Uh, did get home without having to put more air in, so it did hold. I'm not quite sure what I expected. Uh, whenever I've used tubeless before, it has been pretty catastrophic. Um, on this occasion, I thought, you know, it's a couple of years ago, they're pushing tubeless now, maybe the technology's moved on. But um, basically, the same net result for me, anyway. Seems to me that the big difference between. Well, you see, Julie uses tubeless all the time, and. On the rare occasions where we have noticed a puncture, it's just sealed and we've carried on. Hardly any air loss, no problem. And the difference between us, of course, is that I'm like twice as heavy as she is, so maybe that is the, that's the thing. Maybe tubeless only works under a certain system weight. I mean, the system weight for me on the bike, not carrying anything, it's probably about 130 kilograms. Um, for Julie, it's probably about 70, <laughs> maybe even 65. Um, so, you know, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. So, um, yeah, maybe I've just got to accept that tubeless is not for me. Um, I wouldn't say that the tubeless spoilt the ride tonight, but we did spend as long trying to make it seal as it would have taken to put a patch on a tube. And if I'd put a tube back in, I'd have been confident enough to say, let's finish the ride. But because I wasn't sure if it was going to seal or not, it was like, right, let's get home before we get further away from home and, you know, things could get worse. Um, now, OK, I, I did have tubes with me, so it wouldn't have been, you know, completely awful. But 
it's full of sealant. Yeah, sealant everywhere. It's a mess, you know. So the last thing I really want to be doing in the dusk. It's getting dark, you know. Is messing about with sealant all over my hands, trying to put a tube in. So it kind of did spoil the ride in a way, but at the same time, I think it would be a bit much to say that it was completely down to tubeless. Um, so anyway, I shall patch it on the inside. I shall glue it back together. Um, put the tyre back on as tubeless and see what happens. Was it a one-off? <laughs> Sealing all up under the seat as well. Really does get everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs>